Oh, I don't like that any better. Oh my gosh, that I actually like, I think, the version from the first game better. <laughs> Ew, Narg. Why is your name Narg? Oh, you know we gotta have that sex appeal, dude. We'll be a bruiser. We'll be like a monster this time. Last time I went charisma, this time I think we're gonna go, uh, we're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be swole, dude. We're gonna be doing arm day, leg day. We're freaking, what's, what do the kids say? We're gonna be freaking mewing and mogging, dude. Come in, chosen one. Yeah, ew. Ew, I, children. as a child? Looks like Gollum. <laughs> the old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. Oh. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. Is that like a paint by numbers or creation kit kind of gives it a little bit of a chintzy sound, but you know, whatever. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. Okay, okay, back up. Just back up, okay? I'm the chosen one, by the way? Yeah, I remember when you said that to me. Uh, yeah, so, um, in case you were wondering, I am a glutton for punishment. I did not learn my lesson. You told me that I could zoom in, and I can't stand the thought of that so we're staying small and we're just gonna we're gonna squint that's what we're gonna do because i can't stand the resolution being any more pixelated than it already is so here we go okay is this me which one's me oh that one's me oh who's this guy i thought i was the cool guy with the spear good day to you hoodla you have not completed the trial of the elder and may not pass. I have some questions for you. Forgive me, but I have no answers to your questions. Take the trial. Oh, okay. Fine. Very well. Where is this trial that I must pass? Do I have to go into the temple? That's where I came out of, did I not? So this is all, we're like barbarians. Oh, shoot. Ew, look at that thing. It's a giant ant. Kill it. All right, I'm gonna try freaking, uh, let's see. I have a strong punch. Let's try using that, because I'm a bruiser this time instead of a charismatic, uh, suave man. Mm. Oh my gosh, I killed it. I'm a beast. Ah, nice. Is that a spear? Oh, I have a spear. Oh, a strong kick. Dude, I didn't know I was a freaking, uh, a freaking Super Saiyan character. I, I didn't know I was in Dragon Ball Z. Open the door. Open the door. Let's try and kill this scorpion real quick. Oh, he's not that big. He's tiny compared to what pff, I freaking fought scorpions three times your size in another life. Ugh! All right, let's try out the uh, let's try out the spear that I apparently have. Ah, I've been poisoned. Cool. All right, let's try stabbing him. I missed. Dude, my freaking punches are better than this and my kicks. Oh, I did kill that one. You're just not dead. So die. Oh, 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 he was sneaking up on me. I'll freaking kick you. Ugh, die. There. Hey yeah, I want all your tails, dude. They're like my trophies. I'm like the freaking predator pulling spines out of necks, dude. Hey, whoa, 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 hey. You think this content is free? Well, I mean, it is, but that's besides the point. You need to pay your ruffian taxes. What do you mean, taxes? I watch your videos to escape real life. You know exactly what I mean. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell to get notified when I drop more content, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video, okay? All right, bye bye. Well, let's go check out this door. <laughs> nope. What? It appears to be locked. What, is there a key? Bones? Maybe it's in the bones. No, the bones just have another spear. Well, then where's my key? It wouldn't be somewhere else. That would be dumb. Well, I don't see a place where there's a key, so I guess let's go back outside for now. Bro, do you have my key, man? Clint, give me my key, Clint. I need to get back to the village. You cannot allow me to pass. I could kick your butt and just walk out of here. Alone, you would fail. I have no intention of helping you until you pass the trial of the elder. Oh, it won't even let me kill him, even if I wanted to. Not that I was thinking about it or anything. I was, I'm just saying. It's just for science. So it's locked, but how do I unlock it? An old door with an old rusty lock. Can I break it? Can I use the tail? That does nothing. The spear, that does nothing. Does anything do anything? Can you help me? Oh, a pot. Wait, go check the pot out. I didn't see the pot. It's hidden. Look at that. It's like you can barely see it. If it's in the pot, I'm going to be mad. What's it? What is this? Oh, it's healing powder. Oh, no, don't don't take that. Actually, yeah, take that. I probably need that, actually. Okay, give me health. You lost one perception. Okay. 
but where is my key? Bro, I didn't expect to get stuck in the tutorial. I didn't expect the trial to be, can you open the door? <laughs> I expected to fight monsters, not freaking learn basic gross motor skills. Bro, the door don't open. It don't. It don't open. Can I pick the lock? Let's try that. Your genius is showing. You definitely picked the lock on the door. Oh, that's all I had to do. Okay. I wish you would have guided me toward that, but okay. Here we go. Okay, all right. More things to fight. You're speaking my language again. Oh, oh, there's traps. Oh, no. Oh, run. Oh, I didn't get hit at all because I ran like an idiot. <laughs> freaking fight me, you freaking dumb nerd. <laughs> I put freaking scorpions like you in freaking lockers, baby. Is that armor? What is this? Plastic explosives? What the frick? Okay. Fight me, you dumb mortal. Ah, okay, let's check this bad boy out. What's that? Is that alcohol? Is that liquor? Oh, it's an antidote. Oh, yeah, give me that. I kind of need that, actually. All right, let's go to the door. You better open or I'm not going to be happy. Open. Impenetrable do Oh, that's what the plastic explosive is probably for. I did the trial. I did the thing. Hey, did you see me? Did you see what I did? Greetings, Hoodla. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. Shall we begin? Oh, dude, you're gonna get freaking wrecked. That's all I've been doing is freaking punching scorpions out here, dude. You, you don't stand a chance, man. I, do I have to kill you? That's gonna be kind of sad. For you. Sure, let's party. Very well, shall we begin? I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, you're not ready for this, man. You don't know what you're in for, man. Ugh! Oh my gosh, you you didn't expect to go up against a Super <laughs> Saiyan. Ah. Mm. You have defeated me. You are worthy, Chosen One. Oh, okay, he's just gonna run away. All right, see ya. Whoa, they're treating the, the vault clothing like a tribal thing. The Chosen One gets to wear the vault clothing. Oh, 13. Oh, is that like the character you play from the, the first game? Is that like his clothing? Oh yeah, look at me. I have the 13 on now. <laughs> I passed the trial. I went up a level. Okay. Oh, you know we're putting it all in freaking unarmed combat. All of it's going on. You see Morlis, one of your aunts, the one who never liked you. I'm sure I can make amends before I head off as the chosen one. Why do you bother me, nephew? Can't you see I'm busy? What is this lore that she never liked me? I never got to make her not like me. Why does she just not like me? Okay, well. Screw you too, Morlis. Who is this? Oh, the Elder. Congratulations, Ew. Chosen One. Oh. You have survived the Temple of Trials. I sure did. Are you ready for your quest? Are you ready for a cough drop? You sound like you, you could use one right now. What were you doing trying to get me killed in the temple? You survived. The Chosen One cannot be weak or we are all doomed. Are you prepared for your quest? I'll pass the test. Of course I'm ready. Take this flask. It is from the Holy Vault 13. Holy Vault? Vic, a traitor in Klamath brought it to us. He may know where the vault is. You may also need some of what they call money. Money? For me? You shouldn't have. Where is Vault 13? The Holy 13? I cannot help you. Only the Vault Dweller knew. Oh. Uh. His tales have the sound of a perilous journey. All right, thank you, Granny. Oh, they gave me 152 caps. Okay, that's more than I started with in the other game. <laughs> oh, dude, the Brahmin. Oh, I want to talk to the Brahmin again. Oh, they don't talk to you in this one. Aw, that sucks. I wanted him to say something, but he don't say nothing. That's sad. I wanted that to be like a fallout tradition of him just saying moo. What about you? <gasps> Ew! You return the spirit of the dweller oh my gosh, you kind of jump scared me, man. Ew, oh, what is that? A gecko. Oh, I don't know if I can fight these. I don't know if they'll kill me, man. Oh, you don't care that I'm here? And here I was scared of them for nothing, man. They're all nice. Man, I think I profiled all you guys. I'm sorry about that. That might have been a little bit racist of me. <laughs> Listen, I see I see giant walking bipedal geckos and I get a little bit uh get a little bit nervous, okay? I, I just can't really help myself. That's not ah! Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Klamath. I guess we'll go there then. Oh, this is like way different. Okay. So we were straight up just a uncivilized tribe but this is yeah this is okay this is closer to fallout oh he said moo they're all saying moo oh they greeted me oh they're so much nicer than the brahmin back home who are you i, I haven't seen you in klamath before i'm aldo the town greeter hick i'm the chosen one baby the chosen one 
O oh, mighty Hudla, you must be very important and powerful among your people. Surely one of your great uh, of your great stature would be happy to follow our custom of tipping the town greeter. <laughs> you should give me a tip, just so I won't take the time to rid Klamath of your filthy hide. Thanks for nothing. I hope you don't stay in town too long. We don't need your kind here. Humph. Tribals, they're all the same. Wow! Okay, I see how it is. You didn't have to bring freaking class into this. Or uh, is that class? Ethnicity? It's not really race. Oh, there's a kid running away. Wait, why are you running from me? I don't understand. What did I do to you? I hate you! You little punk! What did I do to you? All right, whatever. We gotta go find uh, the person we're supposed to be trading with or whatever. This is just, are these like apartments or something? Oh, oh, there's stuff in here. Oh, this probably belongs to somebody. I probably shouldn't take it, but I kind of wanna. They'll never know, right? Surely they'll never know. Oh yeah, and then we got this bookshelf. No books this time around though. That's okay, I don't need to be a learned man. I simply need to punch. Where can I find healing supplies? I've got all kinds of things right here, kid. Healing supplies, booze, all kinds of stuff. Let's see what you got then. Meat, jerky. Oh, the stim packs. Ah, I need some of them. Leather jacket. How much is the leather jacket? $800. Never mind. How much for all of them? Oh my goodness gracious. Never mind. I guess I'll just have a spear. Here, you can... You can have all these flares that are totally mine. Bro, it's gonna be like all my money just to freaking buy this. And I still don't have enough. Are you kidding me? What if I sell just one of them? Oh, that goes for way more. Holy crap. No, I want to keep my money. Never mind. Let me keep my money and I'll just give you, uh, I'll just give you these two knives. I don't even really want them. And then give me some money on top of it. There we go. That should be good for you, right? Perfect. All right, let's see what else we got around here. What's in here? Hello there. You here to barter for some of our world famous Dunton dry meat? No, I don't really want dry meat. What about in here? Hello there. My name's Arden. Buckner, and this is my place. Say, you didn't see a trapper named Smiley outside of town, did you? Half to herself. He's been gone for too long. Never should have let him go off on that fool quest of his. Smiley? No, I haven't seen a trapper by that name. Well, Smiley and me were getting downright serious with each other. I thought I had finally gotten him to agree to settle down here and help me run this place, but he said... He needed to go off on one last quest. A quest? Well, he called it a quest. He told me that he thought he knew where all the golden geckos came from, and he wanted to find out for sure. Well, I don't really know what all he said, but he seemed real excited about going. But I shouldn't have let him go. He's two weeks later getting back than he said he'd be, and I'm worried. I'd like to help. I could look for him for you. Oh, thank you. Let me mark on your map where he talked about looking. I sure hope you can find him. He isn't much, but... I I still love him, and I miss him more than I thought I could. Please find him for me. My name's Maida Buckner. I take care of the trading and drinks here. I don't tolerate any tribals messing around, or messing our family's place up. So you better watch your step here, or you'll end up like Sulik? Tell me about Sulik. Sulik's a tribal that that's working here to pay off a debt he foolishly incurred. He is not a slave. We don't have slaves here in Klamath. Okay. Paying off a debt, what do you mean? Well, you see, Sulik got real upset one night and had too much booze. Then, when he was good and drunk, he busted up the place. He did nearly $500 worth of damage. Why'd he get so upset? He said he found out that his sister had been kidnapped by slavers, but you'd have to ask him more about that. He's here until he can pay off the rest of the damage he did while he was drunk. How much does he have to work off? He still has to pay off 350. If he weren't so lazy and <laughs> shiftless, it would go quicker for him. He's not leaving here until his debt is paid in full. That's a lot of money. I think he's going to be here for a long time. <laughs> Wait, if I can get that kind of money, then maybe he'll be my friend. Well, he may be slow, but he does sort of grow on you after a while. <laughs> Looks away wistfully flustered. Ah, oh, dude, she likes him. What the frick? What if someone else paid Solix damages? I don't know why anyone would want to pay off his debt, but they could. His bill comes to that much, but you wouldn't want to do that. He'd only get into trouble again. I don't like him having to stay here with a bigot like you. <laughs> Hold on, wait, I got to get money first before I say that. One second. If I gave back the spear, oh man, it won't give me enough. I need more money and maybe I'll just have to uh, acquire some resources if you catch my drift. I got to find, I got to find a way to save Silic. I got to get the money, man. There's no gizmo here to help me. What about in here? Yeah. 
what is this? A deck of tragic cards. Vic's Water Flask. Oh, oh my. Surely Vic won't care if these are gone, right? That may be the best I'm going to be able to do. Let's see if I can get to 300 with it. Let's try that again. $3? No, man. Okay, 50 for the cards. That's not enough. It's not enough. What does this give me if I do that? That's 150. Oh, 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 what? That doesn't go for nothing? Are you out of your mind? Oh, he takes the beer too. Well, I don't really want that. So take that and then I'll have a little money left over. How much money do you have left? Wait, he doesn't have enough money to give me. Who else has money that I could get from? Oh, oh, the girl over here, I bet, does. She's probably got enough. Never mind. Never mind. We're done. We're done here. We're gonna go talk to her real quick. <laughs> How much money do you have? Okay, that's almost enough. So if I give you this and these and all of these and these pictures, you really just about can't give me what I need. Why? Why? That's the best deal I'm gonna be able to get, probably. Yeah, okay. We'll do that then. Give me all of it. So now how much do I have? I have, oh, 365. That was, that was all I needed. Okay. All right, let's talk. Let's save Silic. Let's save him. He can be my buddy. All right, we won't call her a bigot this time. We'll be nice to her. We'll just say, well, I'm sure he must be happy working for you folks, but I still want to pay for his damages. I don't think anyone should be trapped the way he is. Well, okay then, if you really want to pay for the damages he caused, I guess all of you tribals really stick together. You must be crazy. I'll sure be glad to have that <laughs> tribal <laughs> away <laughs> from here. <laughs> oh, she's sad to have him go. Why don't you just be nice to him, yo? All right, where's Sulik? Is that Sulik? We and I thank you. Name Sulik. How can we repay? How did you get that bone in your nose, bro? Uh, who, who's we? The spirits with me, friend. They be all around. Sometimes talk. Oh, really? <laughs> what spirits? Spirits be everywhere. Travel with we and I. Grandpa Bone do most of talking. I love him. Well, I don't know if it's the best thing uh, to have someone who is... <laughs> maybe possessed to, to, to come with us. I don't know if it's good to be friends with Legion, uh, but why not come travel travel well, with me? Grandpa Bones say we might find sis with you. All right, so he's gonna follow me now, right? Yeah, all right, we got a buddy again. Monkey together strong. So now that we got Silic and I have no money again, I guess we should just move on from here for now. Let's check out this den, I guess. Oh, it's so dark. This is Rebecca's place. Hi there, I'm Rebecca. Can I get you something to drink? I'm sure you're thirsty after your trip through the wastes. I'm looking for a merchant named Vic. Yeah, I know Vic. Metzger's got him locked up. I'm not sure why though. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to deal with that then. Uh, do you have any work? Fred owes me 200. If you can collect it somehow, we'll work something out. Uh, what's the catch? Catch? Oh, well, if you knew Frank, you'd understand. He's owed me the money for quite a long time. I'd written it off as a loss, but if you can get it back, I'd be amazed and grateful. He's somewhere in town, I'm sure. Fred, huh? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Let's check this place. Are you Fred? No, that's a gangster. You must be here to see Lara. Uh, sure. I hear you guys are gangsters. Um, I can be down with it. The name's Lara. I run this gang. You better not be here to cause trouble or you're in for a world of hurt. Got any work? Well, it depends on what you're good at. There is something I'm curious about. If you can find out, I'll pay you a bit. Sure, what's that? Well, there's a church east of here. Um, uh, Metzger has has some people guarding whatever is inside. Find out what and I'll pay you 200. Ooh, sure. Thanks, don't get in a fight yet. I have a plan. No problem. All right, I'm making friends with gangs again. I'm kind of, I'm, 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 I'm retreading old territory. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I live on the wild side, baby. Citizen of the den. Huh, do I know you? What do you want? Oh, is this Fred? I'm here to collect some money you owe someone. What are you talking about? I don't owe anyone anything. Who the heck are you talking about? Becky says you owe her 500. <laughs> 500? Didn't she say 200? Or did she say 500? I thought it was 200. Nah, I'm just gonna say Becky sent me. Yeah, sure she did. Everyone knows she hates that name. You're not fooling me. She said you were forgetful. I am not. I... Wait. There was that one time. Didn't I pay her back? I thought I did. No, you didn't. That's why she sent me. Dang, I think you're right, but I'm almost broke. I can't afford that kind of money. I've got to eat, you know. <sighs> Tough luck. Ah, dang it. I can't barely afford 100. Could you spot me half? 
I promise I'll pay you back. <laughs> come on, pay up the full amount. I told you I can't. I'll starve if I do. Oh, come on. Can't you help me out? I don't have money myself, dude. I'm poor out here. We're all strugglers. Oh, sorry. I don't have the cash either. Wait, I know. Tell you what. I'll give you 100 and you spot me for the other 100 I owe Becky. I'll pay you back real soon. I'm gonna have to cough up a hundred dollars, man. Where am I gonna get another hundo at? Guess I can go this way for now. All right, let's see what we got around here. Hello? Don't bother me. I'm scoping for nice looking chicks. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Dang, I need money, man. I used up all my money freaking for, for Sulik, so I guess we should do the, uh, the, the freaking things that the gangsters wanted us to do. Where the heck is this Metzger guy? We're not slaves. Okay, he's gotta be up here, right? Ah, fresh meat. Welcome to the Slavers Guild. The name's Aiden. You here on business? Yeah, better be. You know a, a, a man named Vic? Yeah, Vic. That merchant guy, right? The one that sells the old vault stuff? Is he for sale? <laughs> Who's Metzger? Dang, you don't know Metzger? What are you doing in this town if not to see him? He's the head of the Slavers Guild. Where is Metzger? A mean looking man, that has to be Metzger. Can I go in there? I can't get in there. Let's try it anyway. I would like to have an audience with your finest slaver, please. What the heck do you want? This is the Slavers Guild, not some safe house for you friggin' jet heads. Jet heads? The heck? That's not even an insult to me because I don't even know what it means. About Vic, he's the one that specializes in vault technology, or so he says. He's my property now. He's not going anywhere. Can I see him? What for? Ah, crap, never mind. Just don't keep him from fixing that dang radio. And he better fix it soon. I'm sick of feeding his lazy butt. Why are you keeping him here? That little jerk. He sold me a radio that he said would be able to pick up some transmissions. It didn't. I caught his butt trying to sneak out of town before I found out. Bad mistake. No one screws with me. He's lucky to be alive. What kind of transmissions are you talking about? The Enclave and new... Hey, what the heck you care for? It's business. I need to be sure no one's trying to screw me over. That's all you need to know. So we can probably talk to the guy, right? Is it this one? It's gotta be him, right? Where's the door? Oh, that's a wooden door right there. Okay, let's talk to him. Can I... Hey, hands off. Oh, I'm not allowed. I thought I could talk to him. I thought he said I could. All right, well, we'll get the gangsters and uh, we'll go talk to them again. Thanks, guys. Hey. I found some info out there looking for transmissions, yo. So, did you find out anything? What? What do I have to find out? Wait, I thought that was what I had to find out. Who are you? A ghost? Oh, it's a ghost. What the heck? Oh, the pain. It burns so. Who are you? I stop and knock at every door, but no one comes. No one hears. I can hear you. What's the matter? Where is it? I cannot find it. I am lost. Oh, you really need to stop moaning and groaning and start making sense. Oh, cruel fate. Oh, it's a ghost girl, apparently. So, that's Anna the ghost girl okay my locket it is gone thief thief whoa i just got here i didn't do it okay so i gotta find a locket apparently that she wants what's this hello hoodla i'm joshua what can i do for you how do you know my name your recent activities have drawn attention to you people talk and people listen the word gets around you need to remember that you are only a, a one small fish in an ocean of sharks hoodla uh what do you mean by that let's just say that you're the new kid on the block and you don't know what's going on in the neighborhood there's a lot more going on than your simple quest go on i've said enough for now i think you should get about your business where can i find the geck the gecks were a standard issue item for all vaults if memory serves me right, they were to be used after the vault opened to rebuild civilization. I can only assume that one could be found in an unopened vault. Good luck, Hoodla. All right, well, that's that's better information than anyone else has given us. I have nothing more to say to you. Okay, well, can I go in here? It's a door with no visible handle. This is a private property, so move along. Oh, okay. If it's private property, I guess I'll leave. We got to figure out how to get Vic out of there, and I don't know how to do it yet. Hey, don't touch that freaking door. Wait, why not? Who the the heck are you and what do you want uh metzger sent me <laughs> what the heck for his stuff's not going anywhere he wanted me to check it for him sure he did i've never seen you around here before now beat it uh okay <laughs> i don't think i can beat him so hey hello hello welcome salutations i am the great <laughs> and and i and and not Ananias. Ananias. He offers you a slight bow with a, a flourish. I bring mysteri mysteries from near and far, friend. Mysteries from a world beyond our own. 
of the netherworld. Uh, what kind of mysteries? I know things that mere mortal man is not meant to know. Uh, tell me about the mummy. I'm just dying to hear that. No, my friend. A mummy straight from the sands of ancient Egypt in the sands of the wastes exclusively for you to see. Okay, how much? 25? I don't have that kind of money. I need money and weapons. Please, someone give me something. A thug? Hey man, I'm Joey. What are you doing in my turf? Your turf? I don't think so. Nobody talks to me like that. I just did. You do anything more than talk? Oh, he's mad. Oh my gosh. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking Sulik. Uh. Come on, Sulik, hit him. Yeah! Feel some pain. Oh, there we go. Got him. We gotta chase him down. Get back here. Come back here. And yeah, what are you gonna do now? You're cornered. Ugh. That's freaking right. Where's the other one? Yeah, it's you. Come here. We're the new thugs in town now. Get over here. Quit running. Uh, now you done messed up. You cornered yourself. Die! There, we got him. That's the only that's the only people I cared about. Oh, he had a gun on him. I'll take the gun. Alright, now we gotta go get Joey. What did he have on him? Oh, he had the locket! Yeah! And a gun. Oh, I can give the locket back to the ghost girl. Okay. Alright, hey little go ghost girl, I have your locket. My locket! Give it to me! Oh! Alright, here you go. My locket, my locket. I'm coming, daddy, I'm coming. Wait, don't go! Did she did she go? Oh! Oh! She turned into bones. Anna's bones. What do I do with Anna's bones? <laughs> All right, hold on, man. I gotta sell this stuff real quick. Surely you'll want a gun. Yeah. How much money do you have? You don't have any money. Well, I'm not giving it to you if you don't have any money. Never mind. I'll go find somebody else. Three dollars. No. I need people who have money. Okay, you have money. Sick. Ninety. Okay, well, that'll give me something anyway. You think he'll let me talk to Vic or buy him or whatever for... 90 bucks. <laughs> Hello, my good friends. I have come back to with $90 to, to buy someone. Maybe maybe if I say I'd like to sell something, I'd like to sell. Oh, and who would that be? I hope you don't plan on seeing this person again. I could give him Sulik? No, why would I do that? No, can I ask you another question instead? Maybe. Oh, I, I don't want to give him Sulik. What the heck? Dude, that would be messed up. I freaking, <laughs> I freaking bought him from somebody else for indentured servitude to just make him a slave to somebody else that's screwed up what the heck okay never mind i was hoping that he'd be like yeah come look at our selection there has to be some way maybe i okay i know i can at least do one thing i can go pay to look at that mummy maybe that'll mean something in the end all right i'll cough up the dough simply op open the sarcophagus lid and the uh, marvelous mummy will be revealed in all of its ancient glory to you but please no touching and uh no flash photography there you go the mummy the door to the sarcophagus swings open to reveal the desiccated corpse that looks very much like an ordinary ghoul standing in a poorly painted chipped and cracked paper mache sarcophagus oh okay oh so they do have ghouls in this then okay i don't think they had ghouls in the first game at least i didn't run into any yet that's a mummy i can't believe i just paid 25 to see a six foot hunk of jerky Goodbye. Seriously, did I just waste my money? I thought that would lead to something. You're making me mad. Well, now I only have like $65 or something. Oh, right. Laura wanted to know what was being guarded in the church. That's right. So I got to figure out how to get in there. Okay, so that means I do have to get on his good side then. Maybe maybe I can like bribe him with $65 now that I have because apparently the sarcophagus meant nothing. I got to get Metzger on my side. How do I do that though? What can I possibly do to make him happy with me other than become part of the guild, which I don't want to do? Oh, Maybe I can barter with him. Wait a minute, does he have money? Surely he has money. He's only got 54. Are you kidding? Why is everyone so poor here? I need to go get money. We, we gotta leave here and go get some money first. All right, maybe we go back to Klamath. Some trappers and a merchant party fending off bandits? Oh, sure. Yeah, we can help them real quick. Wait, where are the bad guys? Okay, yeah, we can go fight them. Come on. Hey, whoa, chill. Get over here. Oh, they got Sulik that time though. <gasps> Wait, Sulik was hit for five and was killed. They killed him. No. Oh, this is bad. Oh, we might die here. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Wow. Yeah. All right, new strategy. Um, we're just going to leave. No! I paid $350 for you, dude. Whatever. I can't win here. So I got to just go. All right, there. 
We lost him, but whatever, I guess. I just wanted to get more money. Okay, you have money. All right, that's close enough. There, I got money. All right, let's keep looking around. Cause I can't, I can't seem to do anything. Every time I go to do something, it's like you either need a thousand dollars or you have to like be better at talking, I guess. I, I guess I learned my lesson. I need to not, I need to always be a talker or something. But I don't want to do that. I want to be able to try different styles of play. <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know where to go. Everything's too hard to do. Maybe we go to the toxic caves. What's over here? Oh, shoot. Come on. Why is everything so strong against me? They just get to keep hitting me. It's not fair, dude. I gotta find a new place to go because I, I can't get money. I can't get anything. I don't have the talking skill to do anything. I put everything into my fists and they're failing me. What the heck? What are you? A cannibal? I don't want to fight you. There's nothing I can do. We're going back to an earlier save. I'm not doing that anymore. That sucks. That's like, I just is like soft locked myself. I couldn't do anything. Why is this so much like harder in like than the last game? I should just be able to do something with Met Metzger, but I can't. Okay, wait. So if we collect money from Fred, maybe that'll do something for me. So if I, if I have to have the money though, because he's freaking dumb. No, you know what? We're killing him. Where is Fred? I'm going to kill him because he didn't have the money. I'm going to kill him, and 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 that's all that there is to it. I'm tired of this now. This game is actually going to turn me into an evil criminal because of how it's working. No, that's it. You're gonna die. Fred, I want the money. I want the money, Fred. Give me the money. Give me the money, Fred. No, Fred. You're not just gonna shuffle your way out of this one, Fred. There. All I needed was to get his money. You better watch yourself. I've got a lot of friends. Listen, all I want is his money. Oh, he had no more money. That was literally all he had. Are you serious? Oh, Fred. 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 Why did- I, I thought you were holding out on me. You were actually telling the truth. You actually had no more money than that, Fred? Fred? Now you're gonna make me kill Flick. Why, Fred? It doesn't have to be this way. I just wanted the money. Ugh! I don't think I killed him. I think I just knocked him out. Is he dead? Oh, he did kill Flick. Well, I guess we can take his stuff too. Whatever he's got on him. Oh my. Oh, Flick's got some stuff on him. Give me everything. I'm taking it all and I'm, I'm, I'm freaking selling it. I don't care. This game has made me a harsh person for no reason. It didn't have to be this way. I saw I had body armor. Let me put that on there. Maybe I actually stand a chance for once. How much money did I get? Oh yeah, he gave me money too. Flick gave me money. Hey, I got your money. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's dead. <laughs> you didn't really get it, did you? I'd be amazed. Sorry, he's dead. I can't believe he's dead after all these years. Sure. <laughs> well, wait, didn't I? I don't get nothing for that. Hello? I did get it. I got the, Oh, it says I don't have enough. Oh, hold on. Wait, I need more money. Wait, oh, oh, here. Can I trick the game? Can I just barter with her, get the 200 and then give it to her? <laughs> no, you don't have money either. Darn it. Who has money in this freaking town? I forgot. I don't think anybody does. Wait, you, the gangster has to have money, right? This person will not barter with you. Fine. This game starts you off so harshly, like I can't do anything. Everything, like no one has money that I can get money from, but everybody wants money. I can't like do anything. Do you have money? No, you don't. Why do you not have money? I forgot who has money and who doesn't. Get, get, does Metzger have money? Can I get money from him real quick? Can I barter with you? Please. Yes, he's got $50. Okay. Gosh, dang it. Fine. Good enough. Give me all your money. Now, can I please go and, and do this other mission? Please. Hey, boss. Out of my way, Sulik! Why are you blocking my way? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This game is gonna turn me back into a criminal for good, man. I'm never not gonna be a criminal in these games. The first time was an accident. This one's on purpose. <laughs> Here, I have your money. I can't believe it. How did you do that? Oh, never mind. I'm just stunned. That's all. To show my appreciation, I'll split it with you right down the middle. Thank you again. That was very honest of you. Oh. I could have just kept the money. I could have just kept the money. Why? I could have just kept the money. I didn't even have to kill Fred. I wouldn't have had to have killed him. I wouldn't have had to mug him if he would have. If I'd have known that she was gonna split it with me, I thought you were gonna give me something else, woman. Well, 
As they say, crime never pays. They both. Or I guess it does pay. It pays half. Sula, get out of my way! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna freaking flip, dude. I'm gonna flip. Get Sulik. I need... Thank you. Get out of the doorway. Oh my gosh. I'm not supposed to start a fight, so I don't want to start a fight with Metzger, but I need... I need some way for him to like me, and I don't know how... I don't know how to do that. Ah. Why could... I couldn't talk to you before! What the heck? I just decided I'd try one more time. It didn't let me talk to him before. Are you kidding me? I'm nearly certain I clicked on him before and he just got mad at me. Maybe I didn't and I don't remember. About Vic. His name's Vic. Some merchant that broke something of my boss's or something like that. Not too sure. Um, the door's locked. Could you open it? Of course. I didn't know you wanted to talk to him right now. Sorry. I just thought you were curious or something. <laughs> So when there's a prisoner being locked up, all you have to do is say, can I talk to him? And he's like, oh yeah, sure, whatever. But when I freaking just want money, I can't get money without someone being like, hey, can you spot me the other hundred? I freaking can't check out the church without the guys freaking flipping out on me and saying, I don't know you from Metzger or none of, none of that crap, Metz, Metz or whatever his name is, I don't care. I can't get anyone to barter with me to give me money, not even the gangsters who don't want to barter with me or talk with me, but I can walk in and talk to a prisoner. How does that make sense? Hello, would you tell him I can't? Wait, who are you? You're not a slaver. What are you doing here? I'm Hoodla, but why do they have you in this locked room? I actually already know, but whatever. It's a long story. I guess you could say that uh, that he's keeping me here until I fix this darn radio. The crystal's shot and I don't have any spare parts. How does he expect me to fix it? Well, I'm here to get you out. Wow, you do that for me? I'd do anything if I could, if you could get me out of this mess. Only problem is that Metzger's got me locked up here until I fix this radio, and I don't have the parts I need. Where can I get you the parts? I know I can do it, I just need the spare parts. There is an old radio in my shack back in Klamath that has exactly what I need. You been to the Duntons? My shacks, well, it was just east of their place. All right, I'll go look for it. Thanks, bye. I am so over this. Let's just go get that radio. They've been giving me all kinds of issues up till this point. And then just, I could just easily walk in. That makes me upset. So east of them, which means this way, right? So his shack, that's got to be over here. This looks like a shack. Oh, crap. Wait, wasn't I in here before? Okay, good. There is the right. I, for some reason, thought I stole, I went in here and stole stuff. And I thought, I thought one of the things I stole was this radio. Okay, but no. All right, that's all we needed then. And it gave me a gun and a stim. Oh my gosh. My life could have been so much easier if I would have just known I could have talked to that stupid guard. I'm like, Metzger, let me go talk to him. But every time I tried to open the door, he's like, no. No. No, I don't want to fight you. Gosh, dang it. You're going to make me upset. I am so tired of you getting in my way. I need some like brass knucks or something. Make my punches stronger since that's what I decided to go with. I decided to play the game on hard mode in more ways than one. Here's your radio. Uh, oh, hi again. This darn radio isn't going to repair itself. How does he expect me to fix it? Can you use this radio I found? That's great. I'll have the radio fixed in no time. Also, I could have tried to fix it myself, but... Yeah, no, that's- I'm not good at that. Okay, I'll talk to Metzger. Can I take him with me now, please? Pretty please with sugar on top. Maybe some money might help clear things up. Sure, but it'll cost a thousand dollars. No, we fixed the radio. He did the- he just fixed the radio. What are you talking about? No, I'm not going to pay him out for- like, I'm not gonna bail him out for a thousand dollars. Quite upset with me, even though we fixed his darn radio. He's threatening to sell me off. I'll do anything you ask if you can get me out of this mess. I have to get a thousand dollars. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh, this game is brutal when you can't have a- like, when your speech isn't good and when you can't just sweet talk your way out of everything. Oh my gosh. And I put everything into fists, so I'm not even strong. I have to go get money somehow, which means I have to sell stuff, which means I have to go to people that can give me money because I have all kinds of ammunition and all this. Yeah, I, I got to figure out a place that I can 
go sell stuff, so let's do that first. I need someone who's gonna give me just boatloads of money for the things that I have. <sighs> Fine, good enough. Did this place give me money? I can't remember. You had some money. Whatever, close enough. Oh, I can level up, finally. Oh, I can pick a perk. Oh, quick pockets would probably actually be good considering I'm a bruiser gonna have to be fighting people every five seconds. Oh, awareness actually would be better since I'm fighting a lot. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I should increase my melee weapons, dude, because dang, I'm so bad. Now I have fists and melee weapons there. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll help me. So maybe I can equip one of them now. Do I have any? I think I just sold my spear. What an idiot, dude. I'm so freaking dumb. I, I, why am I playing this game, man? I don't even know anymore. You only have 47? Ah, <sighs> uh, 501. Okay, I still need 500 more dollars. You think we can take on the toxic caves now? Let's give it a shot. Maybe I can do it now. And I have Suik, so maybe we'll be able to tag team. <laughs> You fool! Oh, good job, Suik. Dang, Suik! The man. The man, the myth, the legend. He knocked it down three times. We be crushing you. Yeah! Okay, nice job, Suik. Punch. Punch. Let's see. What's back here? Why did you walk right into that, man? What's that? Oh, that's a ladder down. Oh, we can go down. Oh, okay. Let's go down. Oh, what is over here? Oh, there's a person trapped in there. A filthy trapper with torn and bloodstained clothing. Oh, is this Smiley? Try me. Wait, how do we get in there without just dying? Okay, this way looks safer, so let's go this way for now. This one's good at dodging, man. Stop being so good at dodging. Stop. How many times must I pimp slap you? There. Okay, let's see. Where does this goo go to? Is it... Can I get around it? Oh, I don't know if I can. This is just gonna hurt me, isn't it? Let's see if I can get through it. Yeah, he just stops, I think. Can I inch through it at all? Like, if I... Ow. 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 There we go. Hey, I'm here. You okay? All right, well, that's all fine, but how do we get in there? Can I just open the door? Looks like you need to get the generator working first. What? There's a generator? It looks like a generator. Oh, can I just open this door then? Huh? Oh, his door opens. What the heck? Hello there, stranger. People call me Smiley. I knew it. I knew it was you. I'm sure glad to see you. I thought I was going to die here for certain. I'm hurt too bad to get past those dang lizards on my own. What are you doing here? I always caught more golden geckos north and west of Klamath than anywheres else. So I figured that all the golden geckos lived someplace up here. Looks like you were right. Looks as though I was a little too right. I got in here okay, but then one of them dang geckos got behind me and dang near took my leg off. I just barely made it over here. I wonder why they didn't finish you off. Well, I guess it's because they don't like to crawl through the goo too much. I can't say it uh, as I blame them. It sure burns if it gets on your skin, but that doesn't seem to stop them from licking up the darn stuff like it was Buckner's best. Enough gum flapping. Now, let's get out of here. I figure that if I can join you, we should both be able to make it out of here okay. Okay, I guess we just gotta leave for now. We can't fix that generator, so... I cannot take enough hits to get over this without it killing me. It won't happen. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we just gotta try and run for it. Go! Uh, okay. Go! Oh, 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 man, I made it. Let's go. I don't care, man. This is dumb that you have to walk over that, and there's no way to, like, make it stop. I'm sure there's an item, but where and how and when? There. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. You're the one that found my smiley. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I just don't know what we could ever do to thank you. You could give me money. I don't have much, but here's a hundred. I wish it could be more, but with all the Brahmin we've lost, that's all we can afford. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? We'll take it. Thanks. Do you have money? Oh, he's got brass knuckles. Oh, I want that. All right. I need like 400 more dollars. So we're going to have to keep seeing if we can milk money out of these guys. 153 you have again. Two. That's so much money. Come on, man. Come on, man. Bro, I need to go somewhere where there are people who have money. That's what I gotta do. I'm not talking to you anymore because you guys want all my stuff, but you have no money to give me. I guess we just gotta travel, so I'm just gonna head straight down. Hopefully we won't run into anything that'll kill us. Holy crap. Old man, you will come with us. What is this? What am I looking at? Leave us alone. I will never support the cause of your superiors. I will not ask you again. Come now. 
or you will be made an example of. I would rather... Oh! Turn around and walk away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will. No problem. Yes, sir. Holy crap. What did I just witness? We gotta get the freak out of here. Go, give it to you. Oh, he had brass knucks. Dang, I didn't have to buy them then. Ah, uh, okay. This game is just jinxing me left and right. It's just messing with me for no reason. It doesn't need to be this way. How much more do I need? Yeah, about... 250. You have 200. That's close. You guys have got to have 50 right up here. Yes, he does. Okay, finally. Now we can go back and freaking buy Victor or Vic, whatever. I don't care what his name is anymore. All right, Metzger. I have your stinking money. You know how hard it was for me to get this? Okay, he's yours, but get your butt out of here before I change my mind and put a bullet in that stupid freaking head of his. Okay, thank you. Thank you, I'm forever in your debt. What can I do to repay you? Um, oh yeah, tell me where Vault 13 is. Vault 13, there's a vault city east of here. I trade there sometimes, so we can head east then. Uh-oh. No! Dude, we can take him. Surely, surely he won't just gang gang on me. A hundred and thirty-nine? Never mind, I won't be fighting him, I guess. Like, how east do I have to go? Oh, oh, right there. Okay. Unknown. Yeah, go up there. Oh, there's another one. Oh, okay. But this is unknown. Let's see what this is. According to the tag on its collar, its name is Bess. Let's go talk to Bess. It's a Brahmin. It's just laying there. What happened, Bess? Moo. This poor Brahmin is injured. No. Can I heal it? Can I... Wait, let me put it in a... Uh... There. Here. Be healed. You use the stim pack on Bess. It's still injured? Wait! I could have used that! I thought that would fix you! Gosh dang, this game! Why do you keep screwing me? I'm never helping anyone ever again. Not ever again. I simply live for me. Me and whoever decides to follow in my in my stead, right in my footpath. If you don't follow me, you're against me. Who are you? Balthas wife. Johnny. I miss my son. That sucks to be you. We all have our problems. Trader. Maybe the trader. Can I trade with him? No, of course not. Why would I ever be able to get money in this game? Sorry, this trading post is closed indefinitely due to the drought. So... Who says I'm here to trade? What? Oh, you must be new around here. Welcome to Modoc. My name's Joe. I run the trading post here at Modoc. I am on a quest. I seek the holy gek. Do you know where I might find it? Well, you're in luck. I just happen to know where it is. I guess we have some business to discuss after all. Really? He knows where it is? What do you want for this information? Will you help us rid the farm of these ghosts? What do I get out of this? In return for helping us, I'll tell you where you can find what you seek. All right, well, sounds good enough to me. This farm is about a day's travel northeast of here. He pulls out your map and points to a spot northeast of Modoc. Come back when you found something. So you don't have nothing? You can't barter nothing for me, huh? Oh, you have plastic explosives, but no money. Everyone here is so freaking poor in this game. I just don't understand. I don't understand why everyone is so poor. How long must I be poor and destitute? Let me in here. Who are you? Hello, my name's Balthus. I run the tannery here in Modoc. Can I help you? I'd like to see your wares. Okay, this is what we're talking about here. Yeah, give me all that. Let's check this place out real quick and then we'll skedaddle. The name's Gershom. Welcome to my slaughterhouse. You dropping off or picking up? Wait, you look like a capable traveler. I don't suppose you'd be interested in making some money. Uh, I'm always interested in making money. Great, head out to the pastures at night and kill the pack of wild dogs that are attacking my Brahmin. Come back here when you finish the job. I'm dead. I'm so done with this game. I'm so done with it. All right, so I don't think we can, we can't fight the dogs, so at least not right now. Let's just go to Vault City. Something has to be good at Vault City, right? Oh, there's the ghost farm. Yeah, well, let's go to the ghost farm first, see if he can actually give us any info once we do. Never mind. I guess I won't. Surely Vault City has something good for me. Something. I just ask that you stop being brutal to me for just five seconds. Now what do we have in Vault Town? Hello, traveler. Be about your business, okay? I'm about my business. Don't you worry about it. I am absolutely about my business. Cough, cough. You wouldn't mind if I took this, would you? There's nothing in there. Thanks. What am I going to do? I don't know. No one really cares about you. Only you can care for yourself. What do you want? I don't know. What do you want? My husband Joshua, he got into some trouble in the bar. He accidentally struck a citizen and was arrested. He didn't mean to, but he'd been drinking. And if he was drunk and attacked someone, he should be arrested. But it was an accident. I... He didn't mean to do it. Where is he now? Inside the city, in the Servant Allocation Center. They said 
he could work off his prison sentence as a servant, but that'll take years. What can be done? I swear if you say you can pay his bail with the no money that I have, I'm gonna flip my lid. I don't have much money left and we'll have to leave soon if we can't afford to pay the guards for protection. They said if we want to stay with Joshua, then they could make us servants too. I could help you, but it's gonna cost you. But I don't have much money and- I wasn't uh? thinking about money! What the crap kind of a person could I be? Listen, I just need money, man. I'm not looking to freaking kid it on, dude. What the freak? Ah, uh, man, never mind. I guess I'll go talk to somebody. The man in charge is Barkus, Officer Barkus. I couldn't even get inside the city to see him. I don't even know if Joshua is all right. I don't worry, I'll see what I can do. Let's just check out the bar first. I promise you, if they say you have to pay a bail, I'm quitting the game. I'm quitting. I'm not playing it again. I ain't seen you around here before, stranger. Name's Cassidy, I run this place. What can I do for you? I'm looking for the vault. Vault, only vault I know of is the one inside the city. Big friggin' hole. You can't miss it. Trust me. All right, goodbye. All right, fine. We'll go talk to what's his face. Barkus, they said. What about in here? Well, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm looking to trade. Can I see what you have in stock? Please tell me they have money here. You have no money either. Uh, who do I have to kill to get some money around here, man? I guess I can pick up a couple other things with the money. Dude, that one guy in freaking the hub in the first game had like at least a thousand something caps on him that I could take. That helped me get by. A thousand for two stims? That's freaking gross. I think it's because I didn't take barter or, or speech, which apparently is the best freaking... That's how you play the game on easy mode, man. You just have to freaking... just have to be able to freaking speak and, and barter. And this game is suddenly the most easy game in the world. Metal armor. Bro, that armor might be necessary just for me to survive out here, man. There, does that do it for you? Okay, cool. I sold him everything and now I have armor. Please be better than the one that I have. Now let's go see if we can talk to the guys up here. Um, hello? Stop right there. No outsiders are allowed within Vault City after dark. But I'm a citizen. A citizen, huh? Let me see your papers. Uh, what I meant was, how do I how do I go about getting citizenship? Go talk to Wallace, head of customs. Now leave me alone. Are you serious? Dude, you're unreal, man. Wallace in customs? Hello? Are you in here? No, it's just a guard. Where the heck is Wallace? Why must everything be so difficult? Are you Wallace? Are you in here, Wallace? Hello? Wallace? Bueller? Bueller? I'm taking whatever's in your fridge. I can't. Never mind, I guess. Bro, do I just have to run around outside? I'm just gonna run around outside. Oh wait, is this a prison? Oh, this is the prison, right? Talk to Wallace if you're looking to get into the city. I don't know where Wallace is. Where is Wallace? Hello? Are you in here, Wallace? Hello? Are you Wallace? Hello there, stranger. I'm Ed. You're not Wallace. I don't care about you. Where's Wallace? Maybe Wallace is up here. I don't think I've seen you around here before, stranger. The name's Smith. That's not Wallace. Where is Wallace? Why aren't you in the city? Me and my family ain't the kind of people they let in there. So we live here under their protection. Protection, what kind of protection? They keep us safe from the outside, but it costs me and my wife quite a bit. And without a plow, well, making ends meet is difficult. Can I help with the plow? You'd help people like us. We can't offer much, but we sure would appreciate it. Um, whoa, if you can't pay, I can't help you. Well, we have about 150 saved, if that would help, but we won't be able to make our next payment if we don't have the plow by next week. I'll take the money. There's one over near the guns and ammo store. Harry might be selling it. All right, I'll go look. The guns and ammo store, is that over here? You're saying he has a plow? You still selling that plow out there? Why, yes, I am. I'll let it go for, say, 800. Are you actually serious? I'll give you 600 for it. Sorry, friend, it's gonna cost you 800. Dang it. This is why you take speech every single time. There is never a time not to take speech. I've learned my lesson. I'm never doing it again. It's a deal. I'll take it. It's yours. Pockets the money. You just going to take it or do you need it delivered somewhere? Drop it off with the Smiths. Not a problem. I'll have it dropped off right now. Can I get some of my money back? How much of it could I get back if I just give you like everything that I don't really care about? Okay, I can get some of it back if I do this. That's about all I have though. Bro, I have to get a little bit more worth out of it than that though. Come on. I just bought bullets that I can't use, but maybe I can barter for them elsewhere. <sighs> okay. 
Sure. At least I got my money back. Dude, I am getting extorted left and right. Hey, I did your plow. Do you like me now or something since you can't give me anything? Thanks for the help, stranger. Much appreciated. What about you? Me and my husband, thank you. Wow. I guess I got to, uh, well, I guess I should leave and have it become daytime to see if I can get in the vault to find the gek. Real quick. Get outside. Okay, can I get in now? Stop right there, friend. No one is allowed past this point without proper authorization. You said if it was daytime. Yes, proper authorization. If you want to get into Vault City, you need to speak to Wallace, head of customs. He can issue you... Where? Where can I find him? Wallace is in the customs building right over there. Oh, what? customs. I went in there and no one was there. Was it because it was nighttime? You must be Wallace. Look, outsider, if you've got customs business, Wallace is in the back there, okay? He'll set you up with all the forms you need. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Vault City. Is there anything I can do? Who are you? I'm Wallace. I'd like to enter the city. If you want to enter Vault City, then you'll need a good reason. Only a Vault citizen has the right to come and go as they please. Uh, it's very important that you let me speak to your leader. Well, of course, of course, everyone deserves an audience with the first citizen. Sadly, her time is only for matters of the utmost importance. You don't look important enough to warrant her time, I'm afraid. <sighs> the information I possess is really important, really. Oh, do tell. I'll rush right over to the first citizen to deliver the news personally. I'm looking for a gek to save my village. A gek? Well, that means nothing to me. And if it means nothing to me, it will certainly mean nothing to the first citizen. Now, was that what you wished to see the first citizen about? Or was there? Was it something else? <sighs> Look, let me in now, and I'll let you keep breathing. Don't waste any more of my time outside or leave. I'm not going anywhere. You want to try and move me? Go ahead. I'm freaking done with this. You're gonna die if you don't freaking give me my pass. You're freaking extorting me. You won't help me with anything. I'm tired of it. I am so tired of it. I'm done. I'm done. You have perished.